just about underway with our first bout of the evening. Let's take it right up now to the ring announcer, David Mercado, for the introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, this first contest features four rounds of boxing in the light ring division. Your referee is Mr. Lou Filippo. The introducing person of this round, this young man weighing 130 pounds. His professional record consists of five wins, three losses, one draw, one by the knockout route. He is wearing the black trunks and heels from nearby Bakerfield, California. Please give a round of applause to Oscar! Draws last night. Right. He weighed in at 131 pounds. This gentleman is making his pro debut. He is wearing the red trunks of the black tree. And hails from nearby Merced, California. Please give a round of welcome to Okay, Dean, there you have it, the introductions. Conrad Lugo facing his first opponent. Making his pro debut out of Merced, the national amateur champion, Wayne. We ought to see some good things from him. Dean, he hasn't fought in a year and a half. How much do you think that's going to affect his performance well, tonight? Well, he's weighing in a little heavy. He's usually a featherweight, and he's weighing in a lightweight weight. So we'll see uh, just how much it affects him right here in the first round. Well, it seems, talking to his trainers, that eventually they figure in a year, year and a half, they're going to get him down to the 126 limit, but they feel it's a good weight for him right now. Yeah, it, it's a natural weight for him right now, and I, I think he, with taking 10 pounds off, it could uh, it could drain his energy. But like I said, we'll see right now just how good he does. Both fighters right now in a feeling out period, really not trying to be too much the aggressor. Although Gonzalez is the one trying to throw more blows. That was the first punch of the fight thrown by Lugo left to the midsection, not real effective. That was a good stiff left hand though, Wayne. They're, they're trying to get respect from each other right now. This is the respect part of the fight. Of course, Conrad looking like he uh, got himself a good workout before he came in. That's so important to a fighter. He's quick, too. You know what? And he can hit. This Conrad Lugo can hit. Is, is, oh, there it is. Good left hand by Lugo. Gonzalez retreats with a, reacts with a double, though, left, left to a combination. Good little flurry there. Action starting to pick up here. First bout of the evening. Conrad Lugo and Oscar Gonzalez, both fighters came in weighing an even 131, so weight not being a problem for either fighter here. No, uh, <laughs> I was at the weigh-in this morning, and they both had no problem making the weight at all. Of course, it seems the keys to victory for Conrad is to really keep his head in the ball game and, and really not get over anxious out there. That's for sure, because, you know, Conrad is... You, oh, there you nice are. Nice combination by Conrad. Conrad's a southpaw. He's got that left hand, and that thing's a trip hammer. It could go at any time. Of course, Gonzalez really doing what he wants to do, and that's stay away from him, not get inside. Well, Gonzalez looks like he really respects Conrad. He knows about his amateur record, and he's, uh, he's the busier fighter at the time. He's keeping that jab out there, and that's what you need to do. But it looks like Conrad's just measuring him up and waiting to drop one at any time. Conrad looks like he's uh, going to throw that left hand. Crowd getting a little, little bit vocal there, but really not much going on. Gonzalez threw a few punches and didn't connect with either, either of them, although here comes Lugo right back with the combination to the body. Well, I think the crowd's a little hungry, and they just want to see some good boxing. Talking to some of the people con connected with Lugo earlier in the week, they felt they really had to come in and attack Gonzalez to the body. That would open up the head. Well, that's the way same with any fighter, Wayne. you got to go to the body. You go to the body, people don't realize how much... There it is. Oh, there's, there's, there's a nice right left. there. You don't realize how much body punches take something out of a fighter. So that's anybody's game plan. Go to the body and the head opens up. Ten seconds left to go on round one. We're just underway here. Center Plaza Holiday Inn Boxing. Lugo on the ropes. Nice combination. Good left hand. That'll do it for the first round. Dean, not a whole lot of action. A real feeling out period, but both fighters really seem to be doing what they want to do. Yeah, you know, and... And that's, and that's what it's all about right now. They're just trying to gain respect from each other. And so you'll see that in, in the first round of most fights. And here's part of the other attraction here, the ring card girls. Our monitor is down. And uh, Dean, this is another venture here for you. 
probably the biggest crowd you've had here so far of any of your fights. That's right. Uh, this crowd is looking real good. You know, I think that we held boxing away just long enough for him to, to appreciate it, and it looks like uh, the room's filling up real nice, Wayne. You know, and that's something this town really sorely needs. This got a good main event here with Hector Lizarraga. Should he win his bout, you have a state titleist, a state champion from here in Fresno. And that's exciting, Wayne. Exciting to know that we could have a champion right here in our own hometown. Anyway, that's our main event. Right now we have Conrad Lugo and Oscar Gonzalez. Round two, scheduled for four. Look for him this time, Wayne, to open up just a little bit more. We'll see if they make a liar out of me or not. But I think, uh, I think the first round, the respect round, as we call it, is over. They almost ended up in our lap that time, Wayne. Lugo, again, seems to really be going to that body and really trying to open that up right now. Watch that left hand of Lugo's. It's, I'm telling you, it's ready at any time. That seemed to be his trademark as an amateur was that left hand, was That's, it not? That was that was his money punch. That was that was the one. Oh, nice uppercut to the right body by Lugo there. The body. You know, Lugo's being the aggressor here. He's taking the fight to him. He's one. He's one chasing Gonzalez right now. Gonzalez is a nice combination. Good right hand by Gonzalez. And Lugo answers right back. With a combination of his own. Take that. <laughs> nice left again. Lugo really seems to be taking control of this fight right now, Dean. That's right. He's in the driver's seat right now, but it could change at any time. Nice combination again by Lugo. Gonzalez could be in trouble here if he doesn't do something quick. He's wobbled. He's wobbled right now. Lugo having his way with Gonzalez here early in round two. There's a left of the ten. Gonzalez underneath both eyes. He's got a little red reddening, maybe some stiffening. Nice right, looping right by Lugo. Really, everything he's throwing right now seems to be connecting with some power. The kid's hurt. He's hurt a little bit right now. He's not too sure where he's at. One thing I've noticed about Conrad, he's not wasting very much motion. Everything he throws is very short and crisp. Very deliberate. Very deliberate fighter. There's one for the body. Wayne, he's, uh, he's a very clever fighter. Another good left hand. A little bit off balance, though. Nice combination to the body. Lugo really going to the body well. Takes a swinging left. Didn't do any damage, though. Well, you know, Conrad looks real confident right here. He got a little sloppy, and he caught one, but you know, right now he's making him miss. And the, and the rule is when you make him miss, you make him pay. When they miss you, you got to make him pay for swing. Crowd really getting behind this. These boxers here in round two also. Good crowd. Nice uppercut, left hand thrown by Lugo. Gonzalez is not having, he doesn't have a look of the tiger in his eye. He looks like he may be a little bit ready to go. Uh, you never know, Wayne. We'll see what happens. Oh. Lugo got a good shot on the forehead there. Ten seconds left to go here in round two. And that'll do it for round two. We'll have more lightweight action right after this. Gone yet. And we're back here just underway in round three. Dean, how do you have the fight scored so far? Well, I have Conrad Lugo ahead on my card. I have the first round of draw and the second round going to Conrad Lugo. Lugo really became the aggressor in round two, really taking control. And, and confidence was just, he, he, had, he was a more confident fighter in that round. You can see it in Gonzalez. It's just not there in his eyes right now. It doesn't appear to be, at least. Lugo very confidently seems to be blocking quite a few of the punches that Gonzalez is throwing his way. Nice left, overhand left hand thrown by Lugo. Lugo's putting his hands down almost to say, hey, let me get this kid out of here and go back to dressing room. Dean, being this, his pro debut and he hasn't fought in a year and a half, do you think it's very important for him to win by a knockout or will a decision work just as well? I think for his corner and for himself, he needs to put on a good showing. He needs to know after a year and a half layoff that he's still got the edge. He still, he still has the desire, still has the heart or the court of song as the, the Mexican people say. Yeah. He appears to have it so far. Of course, we're about midway through round three, scheduled for four. Lugo really throwing his very nice punches, making Gonzalez pay for any time he opens up. Uh, 
again, Lugo content just to wait till he gets that opening, fighting a very smart fight so far. Well, that's a sign of a good fighter, not to be impatient. To pick your shots and make them low. If you're only going to throw a few shots, make them count. Nice left to the body by Lugo. Follows it with an uppercut to the chin. Those punches doing some damage. You can see Gonzalez's face when he got hit with that uppercut. He wasn't too happy about it. Nice right by Lugo. Would you be happy, Wayne? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> That's why I'm down here. Right hand by Gonzalez did no damage to the forehead. Lugo not throwing as many jabs this round as he has in the previous two. No, he, you know, he, if I had him back in the gym, I think that's what his trainers would be working on. He's, he's got to throw that jab. Everything begins with a jab. Everything, you start with a jab, you end with a jab. Without a jab, you're, it's tough to be a boxer, although there's been a few. Nice exchange in the left corner. Lugo getting the better of it. Again, Dean, I'm real impressed with the way Lugo blocks. He's got very good defense. You see him when he's a counterpuncher right now. He, when he misses, he's, he, he's uh, throwing three. Nice combination to end the round. That'll do it for round three. And Dean, do you still have Lugo ahead? Two rounds. He's, he's won two rounds, and one round was a draw. Okay, we talked. He's had three rounds back after a year and a half. What do you think his corner is telling him right now to maybe the things he has to improve on? I think, like I said, like I told you earlier, I think one thing he definitely has to improve on is he has to be uh, more effective with his jab. Everything begins with a jab, everything ends with a jab. You'll find some trainers when they have you in the ring, they won't even let you put on your power hand glove. They'll make you work. Like he's a southpaw, so his right hand's his jab. So they'll put the right glove on him and they'll make him work. 10 rounds with nothing but a right glove. So I think that's what he needs to develop right at this point. Do you think seeing him now for three rounds that, that maybe that year and a half has, has cost a little ring rust? Well, that's, you know, that's, that's a given. That when you're off for a year and a half, I don't care if you're off for a year and a half in uh, tiddly winks or boxing, <laughs> it, it's gonna show. All right, round four, scheduled 4-4. Four, four. Conrad Lugo and Oscar Gonzalez, lightweight battle. Here, first car, first bout on the night, five or four more to go after this total of five. Oh, good left hand, Wayne, right there. Nice combination. That's the, the money punch. Like you said, set it up. It all started with the jab. Well, nice uppercut, followed by a straight left by Lugo. I think Lugo's going to get a little bit more serious this round. I think he's just going to end up saying, I'm not playing no more. I'm here for real. I'm back talked to Conrad earlier in the week and he really felt it was important for him to open up with a knockout and really look good tonight. Well, I, every fighter say that. Nice left. Lugo again, very, very stingy with his punches, making his few punches really work. Good combination there, Wayne. As you see, he missed again and he made him pay. Again, Gonzalez in a place he really doesn't want to be, and that's in tight with Lugo. No, he'll find that out. But you know, you got to give Gonzalez oh, some credit. Nice He's staying left. in there. That was a great left hook by Lugo to the side of the face. Lugo's trying to put him away. He, Lugo's looking for the home run punch right here. Nice, nice right hand by Gonzalez. Straight right, got through Lugo's defense. Crowd really getting behind these two fighters right now. See that jab there? That jab is keeping Lugo off him right now. Right. Lugo doesn't want to get careless. Gonzalez really is being effective right now. With that jab, he's keeping, that's what it's all about. So Gonzalez looked back there just a couple seconds ago. Gonzalez got ready to get hit, and he didn't get hit. Uh, that oh, time, that right. time he did. He's hurt again. He's hurt bad. He's hurt again. I don't know how bad he's hurt, Gonzalez but he's hurt. Gonzalez looks to his corner, gets some directions. He's holding. That's going to help. He's hurt. He's hurt, but I don't think he's hurt real bad, Wayne. Nice right by Lugo. 
He took one, though. You can't do that either. Just any boxer will tell you, you don't take one to give one. It doesn't lead to a long, prosperous career. career. Lugo, surprisingly, looks in pretty good shape. He doesn't seem to be too tired. Here it is in the fourth round. No, he's... But, but four rounds is a long way from a 12-round main. There's a body punch. Just 10 seconds left to go here in the bout. Apparently, we will go the distance here in the first bout of the evening. Nice right by Lugo. Oh, he's down. Sends Gonzalez down. Thundering right hand. Put Gonzalez down face first. Right at the end of the bout. We should have about six seconds maybe left we in the bout. We won't have much, but there it is. There That'll it is. Do it. What a way to end the first bout of the evening. Well, I think uh, Lugo's corner has to be fairly pleased. After a year and a half, like you said, the ring rust is there. There's no doubt about it. But he, they have to be fairly pleased with that showing. Uh, I, I was uh, pretty impressed with Lugo. And, and he didn't get a knockout, but I think if they would have gone another round, he would have. This crowd showing their appreciation to... What's this guy? To the Atwater product, check it for said, Conrad Lugo apparently will go on to win his first professional bout. Let's get him in. Gene, let's talk a little bit about the California State rules. He knocked him down with just under 10 You're seconds right. left to go. Would the bell have saved him? No. Now, in that round, no. Uh, the bell cannot save the fighter. And uh, with, with the California State rules, you have uh, it's a 10-point must system, meaning the winner of the round must get 10 points. Uh, there is no standing eight count in the California State Athletic Commission uh, rules. Also, there is uh, no th three knockdown rule. The fighter may not be saved by the bell except for the last round. So in, in that instance, Wayne, uh, it would not have been a knockout. They must go to the scorecards even though he was down. Even if they would have counted him out, if he could not finish and the bell would have expired, they must go to the scorecards in that particular instance. You know, we had a heck of a fight to start this evening off. We've got five bouts on tap. Great bout. Conrad Lugo really threw a great right hand to drop Oscar Gonzalez. And you've got to give Gonzalez a lot of credit. He was a gamey fighter. He stood in there. He showed some heart. And uh, you're right. He was busy, and he tried to stay busy, and he, he kept his jab going. Uh, you're right. you got to give you got to give any of these guys credit, Wayne. When they get in there, you've got to give them credit. All right. We'll be going up now to our ring announcer, David Mercado, for the decision right now. First bout of the night, no surprise, unanimous decision, Conrad Lugo. Right, they had it scored just about the exact same way I did. All right, we'll have our second bout of the evening, but we're going to take a quick break. When we come right back, we'll have an interview with the winner, Conrad Lugo, right after this. Charles Bronson is a lot better for that one. Two years off, must have been a rough uh, beginning for you. Yeah, it was. It was I was a little sluggish, spring rust, and I expected that, but I was a little tight in a couple rounds and started to come on strong after that. I felt pretty good. Okay, Conrad Lugo, your first winner of the night. Back to you guys.